Let's get started. MHS Dev. Learn, build, inspire. Build a Flutter app from scratch. Setup, packages, UI, and block for state management. Disable unnecessary platform folders, Linux, Mac OS, Web, Windows, to reduce project size and keep it lightweight. Widgets Flutter Binding and your initialized prepares Flutter for pre-run tasks like initializing plugins or setting orientation. System Chrome dot set preferred orientations locks the app to portrait mode for a seamless user experience. Setting up clean architecture with layer by layer organization. Created UI layer for screens and widgets. Utils folder for project utilities like colors, navigation, and extensions. Created splash folder in screens with view folder for the splash screen, block folder for managing state with block slash qubit. Using scaffold for the basic screen setup. Custom scroll view with sliver fill remaining for a flexible, responsive, and scrollable layout that adapts to different screen sizes. Created app colors for consistent color usage globally. I've added extension methods for responsive height, width, font size, and radius, along with custom navigation methods. Pause the video here and follow along to implement them yourself. Setting the secondary color to a semi-transparent app colors. Scroll glow color to change the default scroll glow. Using the navigation routes class from utils, removing the home argument and setting the routes in material app with the initial route already set to the splash screen. Added the Assets folder for images, icons, and fonts in pubspec.yaml. Removed the default Flutter splash screen by customizing it in launch underscore background dot XML.
In the extension method, adjusting the height, width, font size, and radius values based on the Figma design to achieve a responsive result across different screen sizes. Added build underscore runner and gen underscore runner to generate a gen folder, which organizes all assets and fonts in a separate class for easy access in the code. Run the command flutter pub run build underscore runner build every time to generate the gen folder and update the assets class and font family class. Imported the logo in 3x or 4x resolution from Figma to avoid image blur and adjusted the height and width according to the responsive values for clarity on all screen sizes. Wrapped the image in an unconstrained box to allow it to adopt its defined height and width, as the parent widget was forcing the child to take fixed dimensions. Created an onboard folder with view and block, added onboarding under the screen dot dart. Set onboarding under the screen as the initial screen in navigation routes temporarily. Logic to navigate from splash to onboard will be added later in the splash block. Follow along, and don't worry every click and line of code brings us closer to success. Added the font family to the theme using the font family class from the gen folder, ensuring uniform font usage across the app. This step, ideally done earlier, makes fonts globally accessible.
creating a circular button by wrapping an elevated button in a sized box, using the same responsive width for both height and width to ensure a perfect circle. Resolve the overflow error in elevated button by removing its default padding using edge insets.0. Set has scroll body to true. To let sliver fill remaining fill remaining space, avoiding extra scrolling when content fits the screen. Added the flutter underscore block package to the project to enable state management using block and qubit. Created splash state with a factory constructor to return an instance and set the initial is loading state. The copywith method allows us to create a new splash state with modified values, preserving existing ones. In the splash block, the init method waits for 3 seconds before navigating to the onboarding screen, removing the splash screen from the navigation stack to prevent returning to it. The block provider provides the splash block to the widget tree making it accessible to the splash screen and its descendants, while managing the block's lifecycle. The lazy, false ensures the block is created immediately, triggering the navigation logic in splash block. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.